So the worst dressed boxer in history, Sean Porter. Some reporter gonna ask Sean Porter what he think about Ryan Garcia, racist rant. And this is what Sean Porter have to say about Ryan Garcia, anti-black racist rant. Check it out, guys. It didn't offend me. What did you say, nigga? It made me feel very sad for him to, to hear him speaking the way that he was speaking. Um, and to even hear him saying he wasn't going to uh, regret it. And then, you know, again, to see him soliciting an, an apology. The apology was real. You big cold-blooded dummy. Um, him saying that he wasn't going to uh, 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 regret it was just him pushing on where he was already at. Anything that he commits to, he doesn't know how to uncommit to it. He doesn't know how to retract it. He doesn't know how to just stop it. You know what I mean? It's, he's not a bad guy. He's not a bad kid. He's just made some bad mistakes, some immature decisions, and, you know, he's just not reaping. Well, he's, you know, unfortunately reaping, you know, the, the results of, you know, where they're at. And I always talk about black people. See, that's what's wrong with black people to this day. We hate each other for no reason, for no cause. What's wrong with these black men? And you can't even say Sean Porter don't have a daddy in his life because he have Kenny Porter. And I don't believe that Kenny Porter re raised Sean Porter that way. Sean Porter said, a black man said, he don't... <sighs> wow. Let me get myself together. Sean Porter said, he don't have a problem with Ryan Garcia. Call him the N-word. He said he feel bad for Ryan Garcia. He feel bad for Ryan Garcia, no? <laughs> You can't make this up, guys. You cannot make this up. Sean Porter said he feel bad for Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia is the one that disrespect Sean Porter, you know, because Sean Porter is a black man just like myself. Ryan Garcia say he's a KKK. I you know KKK. They hunt black people like dog and kill them. That's what KKK people do. Lynch, burn, cut off their private part, you name it. All bad things when it come on to black people. That's what the KKK known for. And Ryan Garcia say he's a KKK. And he hate Sean Porter. And Sean Porter, it's it what's so what's so hard and difficult for Sean Porter as a black man with a with a black wife. I believe he married to a black wife and have black kids. What's so hard for Sean Porter said? Ephraim Garcia. Sean Porter said, the kid, the kid. Sean Porter is called a 25, 26 year old man, a kid. Ryan Garcia is no kid. Ryan Garcia is a liar. Ryan Garcia is a cheater. Ryan Garcia is a criminal. Let me say it again. Ryan Garcia is a criminal, a felon in criminal. And Sean Porter, is a, as a black man, is saying that. He felt bad for Ryan Garcia. The kid. He felt bad for the kid. What's wrong with this black man? What's wrong with this black man? This is Ryan Garcia we are talking about, you know. Ryan Garcia said he wants to bring back George Floyd alive and take his life all over again. This is the guy that we are talking about. This is the guy that Sean Porter is saying he's calling a kid and he feels bad for him. Sean Porter said he don't have a problem. You can't make this thing up, guys. Sean Porter said he don't have a problem. For Ryan Garcia, call him the N-word. <laughs> no. This is unbelievable. This cannot be real, guys. This cannot be real. Why? Why? Why we are doing this to ourselves? Why we are doing this to ourselves? Sean Porter? Coach Prime? Just to name a few. Stephen A. Smith? Kid Astin Daddy? Just to name a few. West Kaliza, West Kaliva, where name that artist that take the picture of Ryan Garcia the day after Ryan Garcia say all, say, say, spilling all these anti black racist bullshit. These black people, 
still riding with Ryan Garcia. Why you think Ryan Garcia don't get banned and X? Because of these kind of black people out here that's saying these things. If, the, if, the, if, if those people in the higher ranking hear these black men after what Ryan Garcia said about black people, about Sean Porter, about Stephen A. Smith, and these guys still come out here and said he's a good kid. They, they, they are no different from these racist people, these racist cops that walking around, messing around young boys, teenager boys, and see them as men. Because they are calling this Mexican criminal, this Mexican liar, this Mexican cheater, a kid. A kid. You, we can't make this thing up, you know, guys. We cannot make this thing up. I swear, we in Jamaica, we have our problem and we have our fault. But we are different from these black American men. Some of them. Shout out to my solid brothers and sisters in America. I'm not talking about the solid one them. But these one I'm not talking about like Sean Porter. <laughs> it, can't, it don't make no sense to me, guys. I mean, I'm confused. Ryan Garcia said he wanted to bring back George Floyd, you know, alive. And take his life, you know. He's talking about George Floyd, you know. You see the impact George Floyd and the world. People demonstrate every, the, people demonstrate the four corner of the hurt with George Floyd killing. And Ryan Garcia make that speech out of his mouth. And Sean Porter said he don't have a problem with what Ryan Garcia said. I mean, oh people, oh, oh, oh. Other black men or black woman can be around someone like Sean Porter and don't feel uncomfortable. I could never have Sean Porter as my friend. I would have to check him. I would have to cut him off. I wouldn't want to associate myself with no black man or no black woman that said what Sean Porter just said. He don't have a problem with what Ryan Garcia said. He feels sorry for Ryan Garcia. That kid, the good old kid. We are talking about a criminal, a liar, a deceiver, a jokes cheat. That's what we are talking about. And Sean Porter is calling him a good kid. <laughs> we cannot make this thing up. We cannot make this thing up. That's why so many of these brown people flooding in the United States of America. And these black people, most of these black people, they're out here coming against their brothers and sisters, tearing down their brothers and sisters, while these same people that flooding in their, their community that think the same way you hear Ryan Garcia said, anti-black, anti-black, and half the hen word and all those things, it's the same set of people you see coming across your body. Them same brown people. Eh? Them same brown people with them same anti-black racism from their country. They are the ones who's coming to your community. While you're out here defending Ryan Garcia. Don't worry, Sean Porter. I promise you. I don't know if you have a daughter or a son, but you, you, you spread in the bed for your daughter and your son. The next 20 years, your daughter and your son are going to lie in it. <laughs> so you better be careful what you are saying. You better be careful, Sean Buddha. I mean, I don't know black, some black Americans are so blind. They are letting in all these anti-black racism people in their country. And they find time to come, to come against each other. While these people is flooding in, taking over their shit. Taking over their job. You don't know, so, you know, you know, so the Democrat Party put them up in hotels. While you have black veterans in America that fought for the country. Homeless on the street. Homeless on the street, guys. And you have these black Americans still going out there and vote for Democrat. I know I'm all over the place. But that's how I do it. I was listening to Roland Martin show. 
And a elderly man was on that show. Alongside Roland Martin. And Roland Martin and the man said, Shut up, Democrat, and go vote. And that man said, I sorry I couldn't play the clip. And that man said, Make these people vote bringing back Donald Trump's. Because Donald Trump's gonna send back all those brown and black people back to their country. <laughs> That's what the man said. Which black people is talking about? Which black people is talking about? No black people is coming in. No black people is coming in. Probably just a handful of black people is coming in. You don't see when there was 80 people trying to come in the time. You don't see who, a lot of horses and thing with, you know, those border people and horses beating, lashing those people like they're there on the plantation, like they are a runaway slave with horses and dogs sending back those people from Haiti and their country in crisis, not Venezuela, not Mexico, not, this con not these brown skinned people that coming across the border. They are not in no crisis. The Haiti, the Haiti people, they're in crisis. <laughs> Black American, please wake up. Please wake up. I'm telling you, wake up. Because it's not looking good for you guys. You guys think it's a joke? Because of the self hate in you guys? I don't know what, where this self hate come from in these people. Sean, let me say it again. Let me say it, let me say it again. Um, Ryan Garcia said he hate black people. Is a KKK? Hef and their Henry black people. He said he want to bring back George Fly, the same George Fly that that piece of devil kneeling his neck until he la until he, he run out of breath until he die. That's the one that Ryan Garcia is talking about. He want to bring him back alive and take his life again. And Sean Porter. Sean Porter, a black man, a black American man that know the system better than I do because I am a Jamaican. When they ask him about what Ryan, what he think about what Ryan Garcia said, he said he don't have a problem with it. He said he feels sorry for Ryan Garcia. The kid, the good old kid. <laughs> Woo! Can't make this up, guys. Thank you for watching. Like, share to the channel. Have yourself a great day.